we're going to demonstrate now a lift and I think Cheryl's going to lead that. A few things about the lift. It should be OSHA approved, so you're not going to be using your backs, you're going to be using your legs. And uh, Cheryl will organize that. But one important thing that Cheryl always does, and I'd like to speak to why she does it, and this will help you not only in the field, but if you're a doctor or nurse or surgeon working in an operating room, and that is what people usually do is they say, okay, I'm going to do A, B, C. Is everybody ready? And everybody goes, ready, 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 except for the very quiet person who goes, I'm not ready. And nobody hears that. So you'll notice what Cheryl will do is she'll explain what she's about to do very clearly, and then she'll ask, is anybody not ready? If there's no sound, everybody's ready to go. So Cheryl's going to lead this lift, and I'll just let Cheryl do her thing, and there's no better person. She was a flight nurse uh, for 18 years and has rescued more folks than just about anyone I know. All right, team, rescuers, we're going to have three people on each side, and we're going to be actually carrying her. So what we need to do that makes it easy for us is to have the tallest people up here at the head, because what we're going to do is want uh, Ari's head slightly higher as we carry, and also usually taller people are sometimes a little bit stronger, and the torso is the heaviest part of the body. And the shortest people then down, so find your partner, see if you're balanced. The important thing, we have to take care of ourselves so we don't become part of the problem. And you'll want to make sure that your butt is down when you go to lift, you're using the power of your legs to lift. So you can go ahead and face her, we'll lift on the count of three. And I will stay in communication with Ari. When we lift, we try, uh, let's not try to tilt her too far to the left or too far to the right, just so she's in a nice supine position. I will ask if anybody is not ready after everybody is in position. Is anybody not ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. And then we will carry her feet first. So go ahead and turn. So your inside hand, you're carrying her with inside hand, and you can all walk in a forward direction then. Dropping, if you're on the right side, drop your right hand. If you're on the left side, you can drop your left hand. Sorry, how are you doing? Good. Let's go ahead and make a left hand circle. And you walk back. Rescuers, you okay? Good. Good. This system really works. It immobilizes patients pretty well, at least considering that this is an improvised system. I'm going to have Cheryl just organize a little class five ride for Ari and see how she does with that. Let's just check the stability of the system. Go ahead and give her a class five ride. Jiggle her up and down. If she were to start vomiting after this class five ride, let's tip her to the left. Roll her to the left. To the left. Roll her to her right. Beautiful. All right. Let's go ahead and lower her to the ground. And again, rescuers, you know, uh, use your legs, power of your legs. On three, we'll start to lower. One, two, three. Nice job in not lowering your head before her feet. Excellent. 